Hey guys, what's going on? So I think we are live. Hopefully we'll start getting a few people. And if you're watching on the replay, pretty much just go ahead and skip forward a couple of minutes or something to we we start getting some people in. Going live on YouTube and the phone. So we'll see how this works. It's the first time uh, sort of doing it on both platforms. You might be on Facebook. Uh, we're starting to get some people in on Facebook. Now we've got uh, quite a few people joining us here on YouTube. Um, Eddie's here. What's up, Eddie? And how's things going, man? Hope you're having a good new year. Um, and congrats on your results this year. Uh, Mark's here. What's up? Uh, over on YouTube, we've got Electronis, Joshua, Chris. Chris, what's up, guys? Let me know in the comments where you're from. Um, happy new year. Where is it? We are. Have you passed the new year? Um, it's like quarter to seven here. So, don't know. I'm just gonna do a quick live stream. Probably gonna be like. 10, 15, 20 minutes long, um, just sort of reviewing, you know, my, my year, sort of what's happened in the past year, where we're sort of going in 2018, um, and how you can actually go out there and, you know, do the same thing um, next sort of next year. Anyone can do it if you're willing to put in the effort. And, you know, I think like everyone's out there, they're setting New Year's resolutions, they're trying to set these goals and all, but, you know, you just got to get out there and be consistent and turn up every day. And one of the biggest things that, um, I did want to chat about is like this whole like Bitcoin thing and it's such a math like in 20 sort of early 2017 late 2016 you know Bitcoin was or sorry Shopify was like the make money online niche that was popular it was hot um, so this year that's obviously changing over to the Bitcoin cryptocurrency um, and you just see you see the same people come from from here you know they didn't really get any results maybe they had some sort of success and then the next hot thing pops along and then move over uh, and I think that's kind of good for us guys in the e-commerce space um, so you know the guys in the e-commerce space who stick to that and they, they keep doing it there's less competition for us now when everyone hops on to the next sort of money making train um and that's fine you know if you want to do that i'm definitely dabbling in the cryptocurrency space there's money to be made um but i think like a lot of people uh like they just leave they just hop from the next shiny object to the other and i think that's a, a terrible thing to do you know focus on one thing pick what it is you want to do and go after it until you get some results and then once you sort of get results uh then you can start moving into different different sort of places um but what's up we got chris we got eddie let me know guys hit if you're on facebook hit the like button share this post out um if you're here we have it's actually pretty weird because i used to do these facebook uh live streams and you, we get a lot more people on and now we get a lot more people on youtube um and it's sort of just kind of where the audience moves to but that's cool uh so yeah i want to talk about my year what's up eddie and hope you're having a good uh christmas adrian what's up happy new year um so awesome we got tons of comments over here on youtube uh been watching for a while okay so i pretty much in 2017 the start of it i just quit my job um i'd left i had probably about 30 grand in the bank and it was up to me to, to make something happen make it go for it you know i'd done about 100 and well i think it, you know at the start of the year i'd done probably 300 can seals or something um and we were doing pretty well but you know I, I was still scared obviously leaving your job leaving all that behind is a scary thing to do but i went for it and like literally this year has been amazing i've been traveled to like 10 countries um made a ton of money through e-commerce taught a ton of students uh, i know Eddie's in here and Eddie's done well over a million dollars now and he's got his whole french community and stuff like that which is really really awesome as well um and don't mess things like i, I bought an r8 last couple of weeks ago which was always like my dream car if you guys have seen like my early videos especially on youtube and stuff the background behind me on my computer was that exact car um, and i got that and moving into this year it's more focusing on sort of building a lot more long-term wealth uh you know investing in some property if possible it's tough because of my age um and the the sort of how young my business is but that's sort of where i want to move in, in 2018 and making some more long-term plans to you know build a, a future for myself um, definitely a lot more traveling uh, sort of last year like the the best thing and the, the biggest thing that I would say to you guys to go, go out there and do is if you're really into this industry if you really want to make this work and make things happen there's events every couple of months that all the biggest guys in the industry all the guys who are doing big numbers they all come and they meet up at these events like in LA at Pixel Mastery ton of huge guys ton of like 
guys are absolutely killing it that you've never heard of. You know, not everyone puts the results out there. Not everyone wants to. Um, and you know, if you're not doing the sort of the coaching side of things, you're not building a personal brand. I definitely wouldn't put my results out there because you know why have you get people messaging you and it just kind of distracts you if you're not doing that side of things. But there's so many like silent killers out there who are doing numbers that you wouldn't even imagine. Um, and going to these events and networking with people like that, that is when you can sort of really dive in, really see what's working right now. You know, and it only takes one little tip. You know, I know the events are uh, quite expensive, like might be a thousand dollars for a ticket then you might have to get a flight out which might be another thousand dollars you might have to get a hotel which is a thousand dollars but if you go and you you connect with people and network not only like you're gonna learn stuff at the event like all these guys i've met out there i talk to them you know day in day out uh, on facebook or skype groups or whatnot and we learn a ton from each other and everything's shared between us um and that that's like the best investments i've made in myself this year like I took a lot of you know online courses as well, and they're great. I think sort of the online course stuff is great for getting started if that is sort of your at that beginning stage. But if you're doing like a hundred k a month, the best thing you can do is go to one of these events, and everyone's pushing each other. Like you think that you're doing big numbers at a hundred k a month, but you go out there and you see, oh shit, there's ten guys over there who are doing seven figures a month, and then that really opens up your mindset. Um, and really like allows you to to realize what's possible and then you can figure out what they're doing what what are they doing different than you uh, what do you need to do to go from 100k to you know a million um, and a lot of the time it's not actually that much it might just be you, you need to hit that right product or you need to use this one little scaling technique on Facebook and whatnot so definitely get out there and um, you know attend these events meet people who are doing the same thing as you if you're anything like me and you live sort of in the middle of nowhere um and you know most of my friends they're at university or they've got jobs and whatnot and they're not big into the business and entrepreneurship and you know that's fine but it's not really you know good networking wise so going to these events allowed me to do that and that was one of the biggest things about 2017 uh that i would say you know really allowed me to move forward and scale up um, and sort of do massive numbers. Like in the last sort of five months, every time I go to an event, I come home and that's when I, I level up. In the last sort of five months, I went out there and did the, uh, <coughs> the a new store, um, zero to $800,000 in sort of five, six months, which was you know pretty crazy. Thinking back to a year ago when I was sitting in an office job, I was making like 12 or 13 grand a year. Um, and went from that to an 800 grand in five months. And obviously that's not all profit. Uh, there's small percentage, uh, probably like 20, 25%. A lot of people when I posted yesterday's video were asking, you know, what is your um, your net profit? And generally we like to run our stores between 20 to 30%. You know, 30% is on the high end if we're absolutely killing it. Um, but when we scaled super high, we were doing sort of 20K days for a while it was in around 15% profit, um, nothing massive. And I know you see guys out there who are doing, saying they're doing 40 or 50% profit, and that's fine, that's really, really awesome if you're doing that, but generally, you know, I like to be super transparent with everything I'm doing um, and let you guys sort of know where we're standing. Um, and th that's where we are, that's where I'm at. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people think dropshipping's dead. People were telling me dropshipping was dead back in 2016, mid 2016 when I started, and a lot of people, you know, just didn't get in or didn't start it because they thought, oh, it's dead. This is just something that, you know, people are trying to flog. And if you think that, you'll probably never get ahead. Like e-commerce is here for forever. E-commerce is never going to go away. Um, like a lot of people talk about Shopify, Shopify, Shopify. Shopify is just a platform to host a website on. You know, dropshipping is just, uh, you know, a way to fulfill orders. It's a way to, it's your supply chain. It's one of the links and it's just part of the puzzle like if you can do facebook advertising for drop shipping chances are you can do it for, for a brand or you can do it for other brands and you know really move forward that way maybe you want to start an agency or do something like that um but let's uh, drop any questions you guys have down below uh, or drop them inside the uh, we've tons over on youtube here um but go ahead and drop your questions i don't know if i can see a lot of them let's see who we've got on here paul bruce Stu brown uh can we click into that no um so let's see who we got we got christopher louis guys so today is also the last day that you can get into ecom domination for 50 percent off um it is the link will be down below in the description or it's in the post on facebook or whatnot uh 50 off you can get into ecom domination for 497 
Um, it ends at midnight tonight. Uh, what is it? Midnight tonight. P E S T. I think. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm mixed up in my time zones, but E S T. Uh, midnight. That's when it goes away, and you'll have to pay that nine nine seven. So if you do want to jump in, grab it in the link below. But let me see if I can find some of these uh, questions. It's dead because nobody wants to work at it and put the effort in. Exactly. Everyone wants to get rich quick. Everyone wants to, you know, just make money out of nowhere with doing any work. And that's not how it works. It doesn't work in any industry like that. Um, that's fine. How much rock are you drinking tonight? Probably too much. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. Where are you, are you guys all? Let me know in the comments. Are you guys heading out tonight? He's going to like watch fireworks displays. Uh, you're going to a house party. You're going out to the club. What is it you guys are up to tonight? What is the quickest, cheapest way to test products? Test three products a day, five dollars per ad set, at least three ad sets if you can do more, do it. Uh, on WC, either uh, web view content or, or purchase, um, and then run a PPE, five dollar PPE alongside it, super broad. Night in. So who's grinding? Is anyone you know just working away through the new year? Uh, I think that's what I did last year. I don't think I went out last year or anything. I think I was just working on New Year's last year. But we're going out. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you too, Russell. Going to be testing vegan products. If you can actually like, get into that sort of vegan niche and definitely like split your um, interests uh, or what do you call it? Uh, narrow your interests with like veganism and whatever you're doing. Um, because people love that. People love that. Uh, Paul Bruce, hundred percent grind, grinding. All you guys are working. Everyone's working tonight. Stand home and working. Going to the movies with my wife. Awesome. What's up, Paulie? How's things? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, man. Um, working on your business. Going to an illegal rave. Can't beat that. That that should be fun. Want to start uh, a new year with a clear head, 2018 for Mega Money. Yeah, I should probably do the same, to be honest with you. I bumped into you at Ecom World Summit in Singapore. Totally agree about attending events. Exactly, man, Hamza. Awesome. Uh, hopefully, we chatted for a bit. Um, there was a ton of people out there. That was a really cool event. Um, and it was fun. Looking at Artie, Artie at porn. <laughs> uh, job till 4 a.m., then back home to work on the business. Happy New Year, grinding today. Do you think you can do drop shipping as a 16 year old and go to school? 100%. There's tons of guys out there who are teenagers, super young, and are absolutely killing it doing this. Um, it's def I'm not, definitely not gonna say that it's gonna be super easy. You're gonna run into issues probably with PayPal. You probably have to set it up in your parents' account. If you wanna set up a business, probably also gonna have to be done in like your parents' name or someone older than you. Um, you're gonna run into problems, but you can definitely do it. And if there's one thing like I wish I how to start doing earlier it was got into business. I think I got into business uh, probably when I was 16 to 17 and really took it seriously. Um, and you'll learn a ton. Like you might not make a million, you know, a million dollars next year, but you're gonna learn stump something. You're gonna as long as you're working, you know, one percent a day, you improve and get one percent closer to your goals every day. It's gonna all compound. Like I started when I was 16 and it took five years. I'm 21. Um, and it took me five years to sort of get any real tangible results. I had a couple of different successes, fairly small, nothing crazy, but then it goes ahead and it, it sort of blows up and everything will click. Like everything I did with, I, I used to build websites. I used to do sort of graphic design stuff. Uh, I did that stuff. That obviously helps with Shopify design, building websites. Then I was, uh, I ran Instagram influencer accounts. So I used to grow pages and sell shout outs on them. Obviously that helps from the marketing side of things. I knew, knew how to sort of write copy a bit and stuff like that. I was selling people shout outs, so I sort of knew sales. Um, and also I knew the influencer side of things from their point of view. So that really helped me when it came to buying you know, media from influencers on, on the other side of it, now that I'm running stores and I'm buying them. How much money do I need to get started in Shopify? I would say $500 minimum, but $1,000 plus is sort of where you want to be. What do you suggest as an asset to fund uh, Shopify business at seven, 17 year olds? I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that, but I would uh, go out and get a job and start making some money so you have enough money to, to sort of invest in your business. If you had to make 70K in January, what would you do? Exact steps. Um, like, I mean, if you're starting from zero, 70K is a pretty big goal. 
Um, so I would focus more on smaller goals and building up. Like it's okay to have a massive, massive goal, but you got to break that down. You know, you, you got to break it down into smaller steps. You're not going to go from zero to 70K in one month. You have to work on it. You have to, to scale. If you had a product and you just scale it up massively, then yeah, you can, but it's not likely to happen. What software do you use to create video ads? Uh, I would say get Camtasia, or if you know how to use like Premiere Pro or something, you can use them. Uh, but I do have a video guy now. Uh, would you be interested in personally mentoring me with my site? Uh, I don't really do that. We, I might start doing some more uh, private coaching coming into 2018 again, but uh, it won't be uh, in the first sort of six months or so. Or sorry, it won't be in the first sort of three months or so. It'll probably be further on down the line. Um, awesome. So do you guys, do any of you guys have any questions about Ecom Domination, the course, anything like that? Um, let me know down below. I just wanted to check in, sort of share with you guys what we're up to. Uh, hopefully you guys like have an amazing new year. Uh, have a good night tonight, whatever you're doing. Um, and, you know, set goals and <clears throat> focus on them. Get to work. You know, work, it, it's not like you have to be working 24-7. It's, you don't have to be doing the whole Gary Vee thing. Like, this year, I probably, I, I work hard. Like, But if I want to go and do something, I go and do it. Generally, what the way I work is if I'm not, like, out with friends, I'm not eating dinner, I'm not, you know, at a party or seeing my girlfriend, I'm working. I don't have very much time where I just sort of sit down, lie on the sofa for four hours, and watch TV. If I'm in the house, I'm generally working. That's sort of work. But if I want to go away for the day, I'll go away for the day, unless it's something extremely urgent or extremely important. Um, so yeah, is learning about ecom too much, too bad? I think I overthink it and should just do it. Yeah, I mean, if you're sitting there watching videos all day and you're reading books and you're doing this and that, but not actually doing anything tangible, then yeah, there's n there's no point. The quickest way to learn is get in and do it. Yes, watch some videos. Yes, maybe take a course. Yes, I'll always be learning. You know, I bought like three or four new trainings. Uh, I bought Frank Kern's training uh, and I bought a Tim Bird training last night. And yeah, I watch them, but I make sure that part of my day is for learning, watching, reading books and whatnot. And then another chunk of my day is for uh, going out there and executing. So split that up. So spend 30% of your time learning. 70% of your time executing and putting what you learn into action because if you're not going out there and doing that, then there really is no point uh, in uh, learning the stuff. Uh, awesome. Happy New Year to you too. Cool. So guys, I do have to head here soon. Um, does anyone have any last sort of, I, I can't really go through like, um, that's a good question. What book would you recommend for aspiring entrepreneurs? Uh, oh, I, I was going to grab my phone and show you, but I'm live streaming on it. Um, <clears throat> I would go for the, the best book I ever read, and this is when I first got into entrepreneurship, and this is what made me jump in, is The Millionaire Fastlane. Um, so check that out. Grab The Millionaire Fastlane. If you've never read that and you're just like starting entrepreneurship, you're just getting into it, it is a, an amazing book. It changed my total mindset. That's what got me from... You know, thinking about getting that good job, going to university and following that path to, fuck, I'm not doing that. I want to have a, a fun life. I want to travel. I want nice cars. I want nice houses. When I'm young and you don't get that from going to uni, getting a good job and following that, that career path. So that's what changed my life. That book changed my mindset and got me thinking differently. Um, so definitely recommend checking that out. Um, and he also has a new book. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's also a good book, MJ DeMarco. Um, he's the author. Check him out. Get both his books. Uh, they're really, really good. Um, how many modules are in the course? Uh, I think there's seven or eight modules. If you, there's a link down below, and you can actually go in if you on the initial sales page. I sort of explain everything and what's in there. Uh, and then if you click through again, you can actually see all the uh, exact videos that are on there. Um, so. You'll see everything. But hopefully you guys, I'm gonna hop off. Just wanted to check in. If you do want to grab 50% off Ecom Domination, it ends tonight, guys. It ends uh, at what is it, 12, 12 midnight EST. Um, so if you do want to jump in, grab it down below, 50% off, and you know, have an amazing year. Have a good night if you're going out tonight. Have a good night if you're just working on your business, whatever it is. And I wish you all the best of luck 
in 2018 have an awesome year crush it you know smash your goals um and and kill it someone says i started a series of contacting manufacturers where is it the second episode of that is out like two days ago so go to my channel and check it out so see you guys later have an awesome night